Well, I'm about halfway to Gabriola and thought I'd check in. Super calm. There's barely a breath of wind on the water. So just motoring, which is fine. I need to charge the batteries anyways. From Montague to Dagnan Bay, where I'm going, I think it was about 21 miles total. And it looks like I'll just be motoring all the way to Gabriola, unless something changes with the wind, but I mean, it's you can see a reflection on the water. It's so calm, and that's okay. It's a beautiful day out. I am not complaining. So I made it to Dagnan Bay on Gabriola, and this is Vern, everybody. Hi. <laughs> when I was living in Prince Rupert, Vern brought his sailboat all the way from Gabriola to Prince Rupert just to get some chocolate chip cookies from Devlin. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And then he turned around and came home. <laughs> so that was uh, a lot of fun. So I, I know uh, I gave you a couple stickers last time, I think, but I've got a I got a couple more stickers and then I've got this spice it's called Back Eddy Southwest Seasoning and it's made in the Northwest Territories oh. and you can only buy it in the Northwest Territories so we put it on eggs uh, hamburgers chicken Whatever. fish yeah, uh, we mostly eat fish so anyways but uh, that's for you guys All right. and then a couple of those yeah, well, thank you. and yeah so anyways I uh, Last time when we came down, we didn't. We only got out for one night, but on this trip, I thought I'd make the journey uh, from Montague today up to Dagnan Bay, and just for a quick hello. Nice clear water here. It's uh, the clearest I've seen this trip so far. Burn brought this for me, so it's a mystery. I don't know what's in it, but can I open it up and check it out? Lindy. Ah. Chocolate chip cookies. <laughs> and you Lynn, like them as much as I do, right? Yeah, yeah. And Lynn made them, yeah. not you. No. Okay, I so don't. they're safe to eat. <laughs> yeah. Okay, if good. If I made them, they wouldn't even look like a cookie. <laughs> oh, thank you. I was getting low on cookies. <laughs> there you go. Thanks so much. Um, yeah, so beautiful here. I've never been in Dagnan Bay, but you've lived on, how long have you lived here? Um, 21 years, I think. Oh, wow. Oh, that's a long time. Yeah. yeah. And you like it, obviously. Oh, I love it. Yeah, yeah, I love it. Little island. And, you know, the ferry thing is kind of it's so hard. You know, you don't go there an hour early. You you have to wait. You miss one. You know, but we're getting uh, two of them here this next year. Oh, okay. One goes to Nanaimo, and the other one's coming back. Oh, the past, okay. Like so Vancouver does. Oh, a little bit uh, more accessible to to the main island then. 
and it's about a 20 minute ferry yeah yeah 20 minutes each way yeah, yeah. so no that'll be great for yeah oh good doing that you know, yeah and, it's, uh, and this is i mean still the bay everybody you know your um canoe club or whatever you're in or whatever. oh the vancouver rowing club yeah well, there's a dock there, there you know. yeah but in the summer well they're supposed to be this year starting on silver bay you know it burned down so they're gonna read oh, yeah i heard yeah it, i guess so but this one's more quiet but then you know yeah you just got to get through the pass through yeah. Gabriel passage and but then you're on the inside yeah and but a little more limited for dock space i think here oh yeah yeah there's yeah. like not and any I mean, there's no marine there's really could anchor but now there's yeah. so many with some moorings you can't even anchor anywhere you know yeah no it looks pretty uh it's, pretty crowded out there yeah it's, uh, so and every big storm another one might end up on the beach <laughs> yeah yeah so anyways that's that's Vern, and uh i thought it would be fun to uh come by for a visit yeah say goodbye Vern. goodbye Well, and just like that, the trip is almost over. I can't believe how fast the time went. And tomorrow I depart, heading back to Yellowknife. So, mixed emotion day. Uh, sad I'm going to be leaving uh, Northern Dancer 5, but really excited to see Devlin. So, I've missed her a lot uh, over this trip. And, yeah, just, I got in yesterday started tucking the boat away and getting all the covers back on uh, takes a little longer to put them on than uh, take them off but they really do help protect all that teak on the top side so it's it's worth the effort and uh, it'll slow down the the process of uh, the uv breakdown on the teak and the varnish there's definitely uh some re-varnishing that needs to be done on the top sides, but that'll be a project once we're back on the boat full time. So not a big hurry for that, but still protect it while I can. And, oh, I uh, promised to tell you guys a while back uh, what this was for. It, this is a uh, 50 amp adapter to 30 amp because uh, our boat is a 30 amp system and the reason I needed it is because we're at a new slip that's actually the whole reason I came down to the boat was to uh, move it we we're at the same marina but we were in a 50 foot slip and we're 52 feet overall and there was also a big piling and a really big power box uh, that was uh, constantly intimidating the bowsprit <laughs> 
So I had to tie the boat off a little bit of an angle just to try to avoid those two uh, things on the dock. And we were sticking out the back uh, even. Like it, just, it was too tight. And the fairway was quite tight uh, for getting in and out. But uh, yeah, so we're in a 55 foot slip now. And these are just, they're brand new fingers. This used to be all side ties and the marina just installed them all. So uh, back to this item, is the, all the power outlets on this uh, new section of the marina uh, are 50 amp. So that's why I had this. <laughs> if you didn't figure that out already from uh, before. And a great spot. Uh, we've got boat houses right behind us so we were protected from the winds from that direction and uh, yeah looking forward uh, we're protected by these really large boats that are side tied across the fairway there or the aisle and then there's boat sheds beyond that so we've got a lot of protection from those winds and uh, the marina says they have no intentions of ever changing those two fingers because there are some really large boats, like 80, 90 footers, that they still need to tie up here. And those are the only spots uh, they have left for them. So uh, I did a bunch of filming this trip, so hopefully that all turned out. I guess by now you will have commented on that or not. And uh, yeah, it's just trying to get back into the filming. And I really wish we could uh, get in and out of the territories easier, but we can't at the moment. So. Uh, when I go home, I'm going to have to self-isolate for two weeks, starting tomorrow. And Devlin, who never even left the territory, uh, will also have to self-isolate, just because I went. And uh, that's not very fair, but that's the rules we're dealing with at the moment. Well, for over the last year. I think that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this little uh, series of coming down and doing a few maintenance things. and. A uh, couple little trips, and I am excited to get back on the boat again uh, to uh, share more of our adventures on uh, Northern Dancer 5. I owned Sailing Vessel Moonshine for 10 years and lived aboard for five. She is a 1982 CNC 34 and has been an amazing boat. So many great adventures and so many great memories. But it uh, was time to move on to the next chapter.